I really appreciate the opportunity to have my own individual research working one-on-one -on -one with a professor here. We were just dissecting some fish today. We also will sometimes go out in the field either trawling for fish species or say netting along the beachfront. Because we're only 15 minutes away, they can come out here, do a couple of hours of research if that's what fits into their schedule, and go back and do classes. Primarily, undergraduate students will come out here during their junior and senior years. Undergraduates do definitely get the opportunity to go out onto the water. Our proximity here to Charleston Harbor and to the ocean, I think, is what makes us very unique in that we can be on the water, we can be in the estuary, we can be in a tidal creek, we can be in the open ocean within 10 or 15 minutes. The fact that we can do molecular work, cellular work, all within a stone's throw of where those organisms actually came from is essential to the kind of work that we do in our lab. My research program is centered around behavioral ecology of fishes. I'm looking at predator-prey relationships when the prey is not eaten. Students in my laboratory work on early life history stages of marine invertebrates. I've dug hundreds and hundreds of worms for my experiments at four in the morning. <laughs> Virtually every faculty member at Grice brings in undergraduates from the College of Charleston to do research, not just during the summers, but also year-round. Various tanks of shapes and sizes that um, you know, researchers and students can use uh, for their projects. There's a large sea urchin project going on right now, and we can vary salinities and temperatures on all the different tanks. We work with four other partners at Fort Johnson. The advantage of having these agencies working together is that they all pursue very different kinds of scientific questions and have very different kinds of scientific cultures. So if a student chooses, he or she can get involved in one of these other laboratories, take advantage of that opportunity to do a kind of science that they might be interested in, and also make the contacts that are necessary to move on in those fields. I fell in love with the soft sediment and marsh habitats of the southeast. When I did my postdoc work at Harvard and at Stanford, I always had in the back of my thought that I wanted to be back in the southeast, and I've always wanted to be at a marine lab. I, I really was attracted to Charleston as a place to live, and, and attracted to the College of Charleston, which has an outstanding graduate program in marine biology. What I love most about Grice, what's so great about Grice, is there's just such a fantastic community. And so I have such an excellent support system with my lab group, but also other graduate students and the other faculty here at Grice, and then the support staff. There's always opportunities for the bright and the motivated student, out here especially. And to get, you know, get your name out there as soon as you get here, get to know your professors, ask questions, and get your name known so that when a research opportunity does come up, an independent research project, or a professor needs help in a lab, you're already known.